here with Jessica Billingsley, CEO of MJ Freeway at the Benzinga Cannabis Capital Conference. Jess, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's exciting to be here. So the first thing I'd like you to do is introduce MJ Freeway, what you do. Many of the viewers are definitely familiar with the company. You've been around for a while. You've got a big market share. But for those who are not aware, please tell us about it. Sure, thank you. Well, MJ Freeway invented seed to sale tracking nine years ago. And we're really today the, the only cannabis technology company that's truly operating globally with clients in 12 countries. We serve the entire cannabis supply chain compliantly in every legal jurisdiction. So cultivation, manufacturing, distribution, retail. We also have a government a regulatory product for government agencies to oversee compliance in their jurisdictions. And to date, we've tracked more than $13 billion in legal cannabis oh, wow. sales in our systems. That's amazing. So it, it's almost like projections that are based on your actual numbers. <laughs> so w w one funny tidbit here that the audience might like to know is uh, you're often credited, MJ Freeway, I mean, is often mm -hmm. credited with the invention of the term seat to sale, which is now an industry standard. To my chagrin, I was not successful in trademarking that when I tried back in 2010. They, they, at the time, they told me it was too descriptive and I had a limited amount of money to spend on trademarks. And of course now, I wish I had been successful. But nevertheless, if you go to seedtosale.com, it still redirects to mjfreeway.com. <laughs> so I'm, I'm claiming it still. <laughs> Definitely. No, people know about it. So. Um, one thing that happened uh, late last year, mm -hmm. you announced you were merging with MTech Acquisition Corp. It was a Nasdaq traded company, uh, and the idea is for you to uh, soon be trading on the Nasdaq as a combined PUPCO. Um, and interestingly enough, it should become the first female-led cannabis company to trade on the Nasdaq. It's you and Tahiro Rechmatula. Uh, well, we're very excited about the transaction. We announced that the name of the holding company will be Akerna, huh. A-K-E-R-N-A, -E once we trade. And Tahir That's and I yours. will both serve on the board, and I'll continue uh, to serve as CEO of Akerna post-close. MTech, of course, currently trades on the NASDAQ under MTEC. They're a blank check company. So yeah. it's not, I just want to be clear, it's not a currently operating entity. Uh -huh. It's a, a deal team that raised the funds in trust for the purpose of merging with a company like ours, yeah. and then we will become the surviving entity post-close. Can you tell us a little bit about your international presence and plans to expand internationally? So we see international as a big driver for growth and economic growth and cannabis moving forward, globalization, consolidation, companies trading and import and export beginning. And we think it's very important to be helping shape that conversation from a regulation point of view. I mean, MJ Freeway is absolutely the backbone upon which the industry is built, enabling regulation, compliance, and taxation. And we're helping shape that conversation internationally as well. I'm really excited in particular about Colombia and what is happening there. The folks there are, are using our system to run their operations. I'm excited to see how, how that market continues to evolve. And of course, Europe is, after many years of talking, starting <laughs> to make some quick strides yeah. toward, toward really operating. Uh, we've got a channel partner in Spain that serves our European clients. We've got about 100 clients in Spain currently. A lot of other women in, in, in this space running their companies or, or you know, looking to, to start their companies could clearly see you as a model, right? And something they aspire to run a NASA cannabis company. It's no small feat, something that five years ago we wouldn't even have fathomed. Male, female, whatever, it's just like crazy. Do you have any advice for, for, for women seeking to build something like you have? Like, what, what, like women specific advice? I would love to talk about this. So, we at MJ Freeway have launched the One Woman Challenge and a number of other female leaders across yeah. industries have chosen to join us in this. And it's essentially the idea or commitment for men and women to help one woman in some, at least in some small way. And so my advice would be seek out me or one of these other leaders and ask us for help. We are surprisingly delighted to help, whether it's a coffee, an introduction, a quick mentoring phone call. But what you'll find, especially in cannabis, are women actually really want to help each other. Yeah. And 
sometimes it's as simple as somebody raising their hand and saying, hey, I could use a little help on direction or I need an introduction here and we're more than happy to do so. Definitely. Thank you for joining us, Jessica Billingsley from MJ Freeway. It's been Thank a pleasure. You. We appreciate it has been your a pleasure. Thank you for having me.